Yep. Yeah. Keenan, you still here? Yes, I'm here. I'm just doing a thing. Okay. But don't worry, me. Just go. Just go. Just go. All right. Welcome everybody back to Strayfinder. Last time you guys went through the fate pads. You rolled the only two non-hostile encounters. Well, there's kind of I'm not going to spoil anything. And you met the you rolled the field trip encounter and you rolled the god encounter where you encountered Atsuna, the goddess of trickery, lust and deception. Yay! Yep, and uh, the Larian got dragged off into Snoo Snoo. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me, just off to the rapey darkness. Pretty much. You were gone for for what everyone else was an hour, but it was like two weeks. Yep. <laughs> the only time she's ever come back looking like something approaching tired. Alright. Uh, aside from that, you guys then stepped out and found yourself in a fey castle and wandered around for a bit, encountered uh, some, you know, oh, yeah. uh, encountered some interesting things, you know, had some fun. You guys could have become uh, different versions of yourself if you had just jumped down a mysterious black hole. That would have been great. Yeah, I'm no, nothing bad ever happens. Look, I'm, a, I'm a little sad I didn't go looking into the mirrors to see what other, uh, what other... Um, Lyralize there were. Alright. And finally, uh, you guys were managed to summon a hand that was the best at high fives, who high fived your way out of there. Yep. Yeah, high five. High five, yep. I feel like Bodhi's mm -hmm. high five game has improved drastically just by high five osmosis. You know what? If there's ever a check for high fives, I'll give you a bonus to it. Nope. All right, and so you guys have just stepped out of this castle down here, and when you turn around to look at it, it shimmers, fades, and disappears. Bye, castle. Well, that was something. <laughs> but it, it just looks kind of lost for words, staring it over. It was interesting. Yeah, yeah. And she'll just sort of stare around for a moment. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I just for some reason expected like an evil fairy overlord to just sort of dive out on us afterwards. You know. But no, everything seemed okay. Everything's cool. Yeah. <laughs> she'll just shrug and climb on to Madam Hoots. So I suppose our next destination is this fort or whatever. Yes, that's where we're going, right? Is where we're going, right? That fortress over there. Um, if you had, you guys did check your maps and everything, and uh, had uh, consulted the strange archway, you know, the maps on these strange archways, and when you had looked it all over, yeah, it seems your destination was just, you know, a few hours march up a hill. Sweet. Cool. I, I, I see. Oh. Hey, you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inflate breasts. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. Let's see, do we just need, see, we just need... Uh, now you just need to, you just need to, all you need is the permanency spell, and then that, then bam, you're done. Uh, that one can't be permanency. Why not? Why not? <laughs> because Keener is gravely offended. Because it's not, like, enhancing it, it's, it's just pumping them full of air. I suppose you wouldn't want air titties, that's, because that's... then you would be afraid of, like, sharp objects. Oh, they're actually just full of air? Yeah, you get air boobs. Yeah, it's balloon tits. Yeah. Mm, I don't like literally them. balloon tits. Uh, not a fan either. It's a okay. horrifying yeah, concept, all things considered. Alright, let, let, let's, let's continue. 
Rem, it's totally okay if that ever happens to your spine. We're just going to the major you. The, the, the major? Have you not seen uh, Ghost in the Shell? I'm oh, just going to no, load you no. up into a body. It's going to be great. Yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. World um, War Three has to happen first, but don't worry, we're on the press. Yeah, I was going to say, you're working on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that legitimately gave me a spook. <laughs> <laughs> Help, I've been done a spook. A horrendous spook. <laughs> Jesus H. You, you saw... You guys saw Hoff's, uh... Spell there in the... In his archive there, right? No. Mm. Power word spook? Oh. Oh. Uh, I mean, power word spook is a pretty strong power word. Pretty good. I also like power bork spook. Or power bork hack. <laughs> Power hack. Yeah, power bulk hack. Okay. So, um, you guys just gonna try to trudge up that hill? Yeah, I figure so. Um, I, I'll it'll be less trudging on my part because of the whole flying thing, but you know, onwards and upwards. All right. We have to I will hitch a ride on Coralie if she's all right with that. Sounds good to me. Okay. Oops. God, how long have we been gone for? Uh, Excellent uh, question. Like how many? Say. How much time has passed? You don't know. There is no way to no. know. For all we know, we went back in time, forward in time. Um. It it shouldn't be too long. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been suggested to us. All right, what was the date when we left? Um, it was, uh, you're still in spring. I was going to make my own calendar, but then I decided that sounds like work. That's way too much so work. So we're just going to That's use... That's annoying. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. There's no, no point. No, So, um, I, I think, like, since the beginning of the game, we're going to say that it's about uh, April, April 15th when you left. Okay. Yeah, Bob, that GIF is real spooky. Oh, oh I'm, I'm at the... Oh, they're digging it in. Nope. No. Nope. Bob, Bob oh. stop. Bob, come back. Yeah, I don't, I don't look at that shit. I know better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the disguise and I'm gonna take a peep. I think that a peep in right. a looky loo. Do me a favor. Um, yeah, sure. Do a Ugh. I get bugs in my face. Man, uh, that is certainly just a small little fortress village. Damn you. Look how small. So it's like, what, March or something? The fucking, I don't know. It was March when the campaign began. So it's, it's like, April now. It's April. Yeah. You oh, guys uh, literally began uh, the campaign. I'm telling. I'm gonna say the date that we left was like is like April 18th. Yeah. You you began uh, the Red Fang festivals during the spring equinox. Wow, fucking Marlum. <laughs> Marlum. All right. So uh, you're looking at this uh, city, right? Mm -hmm. And you're looking, and you're looking, and you notice that everything is almost too precise. Like, uh, all of the, the, the outside fortress, it's almost imperceptible, but you notice, like, uh, every fortress has little chips and dings and its parapets and stuff, right? The, um, uh, the, identifies it as being different than the one next to it, you know what I mean? This yeah. Ha this is flawless. What the hell? <laughs> like, is it just okay, like so what the Kalea, shit? You, fuck! What the fuck, you guys? You see the exact same thing I just said. <laughs> you see that also as well. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Now. I just wanted to roll. <laughs> Man, also you have a plus ten fucking perception. How do you see past your tits? That's cheating. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I just see what's in front of me, not what's below me. Yeah. 
She has disadvantage on looking down. <laughs> Good yeah. thing this, this board is up. Hmm. I can't see past my tits or my horse butt. For most people, that would be inconvenient. So, uh, Marlum and Corlea can spread word to the party that, um, wow, this is a, a certainly perfect fortress city. I Man. think it's new. It's either freshly built or something has gone way too wrong. In fact, or it's being supported by fey magic. I'm, we're in the Trolls Timberland, Marlon. I, even the Kitsune that like, live here in huge numbers, they're, they're pretty fey. I'm so annoyed that Bodhi didn't notice that she's like a fucking civil engineer in her off time. <laughs> <laughs> Would have probably been able to know a whole bunch of shit. Nope, no good. Oh well. You fly up majestically into the sky and immediately hit like a cloud of uh, flies. <laughs> no, it's, 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 like, just, it's just birds strike and I just come back down covered in feathers and just, just it's just a mess. <laughs> yeah. so my or mount is just chewing. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Or you go up and Madam Hoots immediately just turns and wants to perch at the top of this so you can never get a good angle. It's like right on the top of the arch, I must perch. It does look very perchable. I can't, I mean, I can appreciate a good perch as well, and it does look like a pretty good perch. It's got great perchosity. Mm, that's a lot of sriracha. All right. So, uh, what you guys do? Well, no point wasting time. Let's go approach. Let's do the thing. Let's go to the place. I'm going to use a tentacle to slap Corley on the butt. Yeah! Ooh. Onward, Steed! Let's go! <laughs> Flapping on ahead. Alright. So, All right. uh, you're going to approach the city. I I'm assuming that... Um, since uh, Bodhi is flying, she's going to get there first. Um, I'd probably do, like, the occasional loop just to make sure I don't go way fucking far ahead of him. Okay. Uh, so are you going to wait so uh, you guys all hit the city at the same time, or...? Uh, I'll probably do, like, um... Uh, like, just a, a fucking once-over and a back. Alright. Um, yeah, you're going to do a once-over. You can see, like, people, like, tiny little ant people milling below you. Not literally ant people, though that'd be sweet. What is this, a city for ants? Yes, yeah. yes it is. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to... I have people are fairly rare in this part of the world. Mostly nice try, you need open brackets you. after the, like, after the square brackets. Yes. Right. Forgot. Yeah. Like, uh, the most prevalent bug people in this part of the world are the hives. Hmm. So. B. A perch. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, you, you're all going to approach the city. And then when you get about, uh, just within earshot distance, you know, about 500 yards out, you suddenly, uh, you, uh, let's see, who's first? Let's find out who's first. Um, Hody, are you just going to stay flapping above? Um, I won't stay flapping above, no. Once the rest of the party approaches, I will land down. Alright, so whoever's first is going to step forward and then hit something. It feels like a very large wall made out of jello. Oh, jello. okay. Like a goo girl. Huh. A giant invisible goo girl. That seems oh strange. Alright, I, uh... Hmm. What do you do? I don't know. Um... Does it resist attempts to push through? No. I don't want to go all the way in. It might be gross in there. Let's have a look here. Uh... Hmm. 
don't know what to do. Um, mm, um, fuck it. Oh, I, I don't know. I'll look to the others. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Uh, what kind of a check mm. I could try and disbelieve it. Um, I would either do a history check or um, Arcana. Let me see. I have neither of those. I, uh, I can see real good. Arcana. I can do Arcana. Uh, do both of you guys have better than a plus nine? <laughs> Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah fuck. To assist you, Bob. And your assistants have advantage. Wow. Okay, this was actually a really hard yeah. check. That's amazing. <laughs> Fucking. That's, Let's well, see. that's it. That's what happens caught. when you roll a 19. <laughs> so, Bob. Yes. You're fairly certain you know what this is. Uh, in some texts in the learning that you've done, um, you know what? Your people have uh, a, a moderate respect for the uh, the Kitsunes because of Atsuna, what she did during the Great War, shielding mm -hmm. your uh, shielding your people with the storm, which allowed you to disappear. So you know you did a lot of research when you were doing our when you were doing your Arcana test uh, training, right? <laughs> no test. You were yeah, doing yeah, um, exams at school. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, he went to college. He did. He went to college. To college. Yeah, he, he went to college. So, um, one thing uh, that you know is that they always the Kitsune towns and villages always are are not what they appear, and that's why it was so difficult for uh, the out of all of the areas unconquered in the world. The Trails Timberland and the Dragon Isles were the only one, the only places where the fallen elves' influence was not felt and partially was because of their uh, strange ever-changing barriers which uh, disguised towns made them seem either smaller or more potent or it really depended on whatever the exarch of the town felt like putting around their town So you're saying this is huh. super big illusion stuff? Mm, something, something to that effect. Yeah, it's a way to. Uh, I don't. Know. I don't probably don't see through it. <laughs> no. So this is like. Uh, I doubt my willpower would be enough to break through it. I just know what it is. Would that help? Uh, you know what it is, but it still requires an, a tremendous force of will to overcome this enchantment. Enchantment! Oh, I can always try. Uh, actually, nope. uh, maybe this uh, necklace that Atsuna herself gave me will help. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna... Grip that in one hand and then try to walk on through. All right. So uh, you push your face through, and you see now um, the town looked like a very um, from the outside looks like a very uh, you know, it's a respectable size, but on the smallish, uh, made out of white stone and very militaristic and kind of human looking, not what you would expect of a fey town, but when Maya pokes her head through, she sees this. Oh, fucking <laughs> Jesus, Kina. Okay, um, it literally requires a nat 20 to do it, so I will also put Kanathis over here. That's pretty good. Hey guys, I'm a wisdom caster. <laughs> yeah, but and I'm a bag of rocks. <laughs> even with your highest roll, it literally requires a nat twenty because of the spell. Oh. Unless, uh, uh, you know, unless your modifiers were able to be a forty. I got close. You did. So this is what the two of them see. And uh, oh, neither, none of them are seeing this yet. 
I assume it's it's real pretty. Um, it is very. This is actually a really nice fucking map. Holy shit! Can you like right. DM me the fucking picture? Yes. I may right. need to. I may need to use this in artifacts because this is fucking baller. Shit. Where do you even find these? This one I actually found uh, on my own. Fuck. My. I don't know where. Uh, Maya, how about you, uh, wait, I wonder what happens if you give me the amulet while you're still inside. I mean, I think it might just be better to go and find someone who can let you in. Okay. No fun. Oh, uh, yeah, good idea. So, uh, yeah, Lirla, you see this from where you're standing. Oh. And it, you literally poke your head through, and the town begins at the edge of where this uh, thing is supposed to be. So it's much larger than it appears. You guys are literally on the outskirts of it. Wow. I'm going to talk back to everybody. I'm what was the DC? Does 26 do it? No, the DC oh. is 40. Will, oh. willpower is the, the willpower is to see through it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no one's actually tried walking through it yet other than Maya. Yeah, hey, fuck it. I will, you know, <laughs> look at this. Is it okay to, to go on in? I'll just telepathy back. Wow, like, this place is really cool. Oh, okay, cool. Alright then, I'll try and walk in. Alright, you feel some resistance and you pop your head on on the other side. Hmm. Uh, nice place. I'm this right. is very pretty. I'm, way through. I'm just gonna push my way through like Bodhi did. Okay. Anyone who tries can just push their way through the illusion. It is an illusion. Yeah. Okay. I've whoop on through. Oh, hey. How does this feel like I've seen this before? Mm-hmm. No. Uh. Alright. It's so real pretty. It is. Mm. You find yourself on the outskirts of an incredibly busting, yeah, busting, yeah, bustling uh, fey town. Busty. It's very clearly uh, fey because most of the inhabitants seem to be either Homosexual. kitsunes. Well, I mean, if it's fey, it's gay. Kits Everyone knows that. Yeah, kitsunes, fairies. Um, there are uh, various strange-looking aberrations. There's dryads nymphs walking around you see um a few nymphs uh popping out of the water and playing and then you know turning into uh droplets of water themselves before reforming oh good i speak sylvan oh god Wait, oh as do i language? actually it's one of the few other languages i've got oh no i don't have it of course, I've got the centaur dialect, which I think means it has a southern drawl to it. Well, howdy, y'all. I was literally about to say that. Nope. Oh, oh man. With all of my tentacle. Wave! Tentacular waving action! Action, action, action! You guys are about uh, here, where the town is on the very outskirts, and you wave to one of the nymphs, and she, uh, giggles and splashes you with water. Huh. I want to always swim in that water. It's been so long since I went for a swim. For a swim. I know. I know where I'm going. Down to the Paradise hey, City. Hey. You don't know what it's called yet, but I didn't want to hide it all in the GM layer when you're literally about to find yeah. out. Seems like yeah. Effort. I I want uh, is there a market or? Uh... So uh, here on the outskirts, as you're walking in, um, the first building that you see is a large building that's half built, hanging over the water, and a large sign hanging down from it, calling it the Swift Huntress Inn. The Swift Huntress Inn, mm. intriguing. Intriguing. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Uh, is there anything along the lines of, like, road signs or a place to catch bearings properly? 
there is. Uh, there is a uh, multifaceted glowing sign that hovers uh, above the ground with no uh, uh, like meaning to you know, there's no stand or anything like that it's just hovering and it kind of looks like a star with how many different signs are poking out of it okay and it's just uh, sitting there uh, gently rotating it's just sitting there judging watching judging Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, let's see here. So, where exactly are we going to find your missing mum, do you think, Maya? Sorry about that. Right. Hmm. I mean, the key is probably... Uh... Either the keep or like the um the inn, they'll be the best places to start asking about that um that raid. Alright. Interesting that a raid bothered this place. Then again, if the illusion is just a thing you walk into, I guess that makes sense. I mean it might have been this place, it might have been one of the surrounding villages. Uh the GM never actually gave me a written copy of the letter. Alright. Just said this village that uh, that uh, said it was right here on top of the mountain. Yeah, this doesn't look much like a village, though. It's very I know. Big. I know. So weird. <laughs> very I don't think it's on top of the mountain either. Is it? Is it actually legit on top of the mountain? It's this is where you were directed, all right. I'm just saying she called okay. it a village. It turns out to be like a fairy metropolis. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Very. Let's strange. let's make for this for this inn. I'm I'm interested in seeing what kind of huntresses are swift. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a swim, you guys. I'll see you later. Yeah, fella's gonna go <laughs> immediately to the market instead. Be like, I've got. I'm gonna go look at. It. It's cool things. Yeah, I'm, right. I, I have lots of things well, to look at. Yet. So, I mean, I also uh, don't think I speak Latin. Yeah. So, Lirali has uh, summarily jumped in the water and yep. is uh, surrounded by playful nymphs. Ooh, I'm going to swim with them. Our Watch out for this. You start uh, swimming around with the nymphs and, you know, having fun and, you know, splashing each other when, because sometimes they turn into water themselves and splash <gasps> themselves at you. You have, of course, yes. don't forget, heaving flotation devices. How's your, your swimming changed now that you've got these huge tracts of land? Oh, um, it's fine. It's fine. I have a very, I, I have it even higher. My body has an even higher, like, water content than a human does and it, I have no bones so I am actually I'm very buoyant in the water just pat neutral doesn't she has really a matter very particular set of skills doesn't really matter how big my tits are yeah, fair enough that, that does not stop it, me from swimming it, it, it matters to me I need to know for my spell I think they're like some fucking fuck normous G thing like G cups. They're in fact G. Yeah, G's now. G's, Sorry. these are huge. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're G for yeah. God damn it! These are massive! Well, you kept having that spell cast on you. Yeah. Oh, we know how this happened. There's no denying that. It's still the biggest in the group, right? It's more like hot air balloon squid if you would fill those up. Operation Floating <laughs> Sounds vaguely like some kind of Metal Gear Solid based operation. <laughs> Would they do the fucking word randomizers? Right, I'll be right I'm national bloopers, but with this. Be right back in like 30 seconds. Need to take care of something for uh, work. Sure.
<laughs> I abstain from Poland breast has been... Oh yeah, okay. poor Voland has been obviously imbubinated. It really was a pretend imbubination. <laughs> Unfortunately, but I don't think I can lead. actually affect Voland, Aww. since it specifies a creature with breasts. B -b 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 you can you can milk me. I'm sure you can totally. He's got breasts. They're just a cups. Well, I mean, he'll call them pectorals, but we all know better. You can call them whatever the hell he wants, but he's also a fucking liar. Yeah, yeah. I'm 102 percent male. 102 <laughs> percent. Is that other is that other two percent other men? Oh. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> I ate another man and I gained his power. Yeah, you ate out another man. Like it's like the entire party is actually just convinced Voland is so fucking deep in the closet he's getting fingered by Mr. Tomness. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I've heard that phrase before. Where have I heard that? From me, probably. I've, this isn't the first time I've used it. Sorry. Ah, right. I don't think it's even the first time about Boland I've used it. In any <laughs> event, um, the only other thing of note you guys can take about this uh, Fey village is that uh, clothing seems to be optional here. Um, people tend to wear uh, if. Uh, anything at all, like very loose uh, robes and um, like veils and stuff like that. <laughs> some just some people are just wearing earrings. Yep, uh, Valerian's clothes all, all end up inside a bag of holding, and then she is just like naked jogging down to the market. Okay, so same with uh, Could someone recap what happened when I was gone? We walked into a fairy metropolis, and that's basically it. Why are we here? Because it's where we were told we should yep. be, and it turns out that after you go through an illusory wall around the city, it turns out inside is a fairy metropolis, and then we're going to find out information about Maya's mum mum, which means we have to learn about the raid that happened around here somewhere. Um, so I'm guessing I should hide my hammer in my bag. Someone might take that as offensive. Why? Oh, cold right, iron. it's cold iron. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah. so, presumably to find information about this town, you guys are gonna go into the inn and ask around, right? Yep. Yeah. No, we're going to the out. Or in and out, instead. So, Get some bags. Mm. Oh god, mm. I could go for bags. I haven't eaten today. I should have probably Why did you have to say that? Uh, I, I, haven't, I hadn't eaten until I sat down, and then I was handed, uh, wontons and sriracha. It's pretty good. Ooh, so, um, you guys enter the inn, tons. and uh, you find much of the same, which uh, seems to verify the uh, clothing statu uh, statues of this town. I, you think the Fae don't really tend to bother with uh, such things, uh, uh, such morality as you're used to. And um, so this ta tavern seems to be run by everywhere you look. Anyone working in an official capacity seem to all be uh, dryads. Hmm. Oh, I am much. okay with dryads. I've gotten along with them pretty well in the past and sort of did them a solid. Indeed, did random shot in the dark, but is there anyone here that I might recognize? Um, okay, so is this part of your backstory? Um, I mean, she hung out with them before. Um, she recognized one last time they were in that dryad place, so I guess it came up at some point, because I, I vaguely remember it. Clothing optional mm. reminds me of the smithing conventions. Well, no, you have to wear your All business right. loincloth, surely. I could your business I do have my business loincloth. Why do you have a... Never mind. What do you mean, why? <laughs> because we all know why yeah, he's I got know. a business loincloth. I'm a walking advertisement. Yes. So... Um, a very large hammer. Uh, I, I think this came up as like it, I vaguely remember it coming up. The one of the reasons everyone had to come up with reasons why they're the level that they were when the campaign started because everyone started level three. And I think Bodie's was helping out some dryads, right? Something like that. I yeah. I, I honestly uh, can't remember. It's been a very long time. Uh, roll me a chance die. Let's see if you know anyone here. Sure. 
Uh, wait, a chance die? Would that be just be the D10? Heck. Guess not. Uh, no. You know no one here. You know nothing. Yeah. But uh, as soon as you enter the door, uh, you are uh, greeted warmly and waved over to the bar by uh, particularly um, voluptuous and equally dressed, you know, uh, dryad. Fair enough. Uh, but you will, will feel momentarily awkward for like being in the full, like shiny shade and full plate. And will at the very least like slide her hammer away into a magic bag, like you know, fancy golf <laughs> golf club style, just disappears. Hey, right. why? <laughs> Hello there, adventurers. It has been uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. I do not believe that we have ever met. I have a fairly good mind for people that uh, in the comings and goings of this town. And I certainly would have remembered an old stone. Oh, well, um, yeah, I've not been in this area in particular. Uh, I was... Oh, gosh, last time I saw any dryads would have been... Uh, I can't remember where that grove was located, uh, with the with the, where we went into. Uh, that grove was in... Uh, the... If I can ever remember what I called the, the Ularn Plains. Yes, yeah, to which I then recounter. Okay, well, hang on, and we'll eventually let my uh, roll 20 load. Hey. Get everything off in the back. Let's find out. Hang on, sorry, I, I'm just making sure that everything shut off in the background because all of a sudden everything became very slow. That's okay. Mm. I did not. All right. Well, that should be everything. I don't know, Bob. Did you go through the Trail Cimberland at this point? You never, you never told me. Oh, this is I, a I, I figured I did. Cause... Oh, really? I thought I thought I went up to the Iron Kingdom to when I with for Cobalts because I was with a caravan. Yeah, but okay. So let me put, pull you all over to the map. Yeah. All right, the closest thing that can be called the capital is hidden deep within the Trails Timberland Woods. This is... Oh, uh, no, no. I... This is a city in the mountains. Well, at the edge of no, the No, I didn't mean... I didn't mean... Didn't mean here. So, I don't know. You tell me, Bob. Did you... Uh, when you went up to the Iron Citadel, did you... As a guard, did you... Uh, did, did you guys get on, like, a boat to ferry your wares across to the Iron Kingdom in the north? That probably would have been the cheaper one, right? Yeah. Uh, most likely, yeah, unless yeah. they wanted to trade with the Fae. Is there a side room or something that I can step into so I can change clothes? I mean, see. But, you could probably find but how long one if you... Hmm? Okay, uh, let Bob finish. So what, Bob? Uh, I was asking about how long would that take for a trip for it to go, go to the land base route? It, uh, to go over <laughs> the land, it takes about three weeks to make it here. Interesting. Right like here, here. Like what is causing that? No fucking idea. Very curious. Okay, it takes so, about yeah, a week. Could... It takes about a week and a half to make all the way over here. Trade and stuff like that. There are the Dragon Isles here, the Iron Kingdom here, the Trails Timberland. Well, just it's called the Trails Timberland, also known as the Fey Lands. And then there's Talora yeah, down okay. here. The lands formerly known as Fey. Because the Trails Timberland, the reason why there's no real official capital is because different she own little uh, kingdoms of their own. Like little. They, there's the Trails Timberland is basically dozens of little pocket kingdoms, 
and the Iron Citadel mm-hmm. was an untamed was like the untamed north for a long time until the last group of adventurers went to the north and then founded the Iron Kingdom under the control of the Minotaur Queen. This is the most recent. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he probably went through the land route. Okay, so have he, you passed through this town yeah. before? I don't think I. I, I eh, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna say no. They went a different okay. route. I just meant he's been in the the trail of Timberlands before. Okay. Okay. Well then, uh, this uh, like uh, this nature is really isn't surprising you. you like uh, to you, you know, their clothing and the like. It's just kind of how they are. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he still didn't learn the language, so he obviously he didn't stick around. But but it's just a place he's been to. He's... Okay. Now, uh, okay. Voland, you wanted a, you wanted to find a place to change your clothes. Are you going to ask the dry, or are you just going to try to hunt around on your own? Uh, sure, I'll ask the dry. I if there's like a place I can step into real quick. She will point you towards uh, the restrooms. Okay. okay. One, one quick trip to the restroom later, and I come back out looking like something coming out of fucking Conan. Right. Well, you just the got the bit. You got the are... business. Um, the business line cloth on, right? Yes, and a hammer. And the restrooms cards. are like uh, as you would expect in Feyland. It seems to be a hybridized of nature and um, uh, you know nature and architecture. There's uh, there's even running water in it, you know, and uh, magic mirrors and stuff like that. That you That's can weird. Sw- yeah, that you can swear are making funny faces at you whenever you look away, but yeah. God, I bet like the variance on like uh, urinal sizes is a killer out there. Oh yeah, there are, uh, they, there are accommodating for all. Uh, I'd imagine like, that they just go away with that. And... Stop interrupting, Jesus! Stop it. There's um. Oh jeez, are you right there? Shit is exploding now. Silence. All right, we assume he died. Yep. Sorry, yes. All right. So, yeah, there's a company that's for uh, all sizes and uh, genders in that there's only the one, you know, large restroom. Fair it's very enough. nice, though. I'd imagine they just do away with urinals and go for a piss trough. Uh, no, there seems to be uh, individualized little water fountains. Wow. Yep. But... That seem to be funneled off to you don't know where. You can ask, though. Because they uh, certainly I, don't seem to be going into the river. I'm really not that interested in urinals. In magical poop shoots. I don't know, I'm a civics engineer. If I see it, I might be like, so, you know, how do you have this place laid out? It's ju- it's legit I interesting. I see it, though. You're a gargoyle. Because I'm probably going to go get changed as well. I don't want to, like, I'm like I'm in the middle of, like, everyone dressed casually, and I'm in this fucking Ashay and full plate and dressed for war. They're like, you know what, that's a good idea. And then I will heft myself up, make way to the uh, little stone girl's room. Alright, you'll see Voland in there. Huh. It looks like they do not give a shit about gender here. Nope. Fair enough. I mean, you could uh, make a check to try to think to yourself why, you know, Faye... Yeah, no, they don't. I don't need to make a check. (laughs) I was about to say, it's a dumb question when you're talking about Faye. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she'll uh, so, change out of her like fucking full plate mail and into eh, probably nothing. She's pretty much okay about being naked around people. She'll just have like so, the yeah. bag of holding over one shoulder. Well, I guess over bag, both shoulders. Bag, loincloth, hammer, business cards. Yep, <clears throat> just naked gargoyle style with the bag of holding like down between both wings. Uh, much better. So freeing. You see Voland about to start an argument with a mirror when it raspberries him. I no, flex at the mirror. Hmm. Oh yeah, it, it flexes back at you. And then Voland fucks the mirror. I flex harder. It, it, it's, you know, it's a mirror. It's what it does. Yeah, just, just shake, shake head, saunter past. You just hear grunting and from the... 
uh, from the bathroom, and it's not from what you would expect. It's just him flexing. Yeah. I look away quickly, then I look back, trying to catch it mocking me. No matter how many times you do it, you can never actually catch it in the act. It's always on your peripherals. Yeah, you <laughs> win this time. Me. Reflection. <laughs> Nobody I'm tricks me you. but me. But it is you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm watching me. Me. <laughs> and then I go back out to join the party. How much money have I got? Oh, a reasonable, decent chunk of hundies. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll settle back at the bar. Is there anyone who stands out as weird or different, or is it just you know dryads and fey? I mean, there's fey everywhere. They're all weird and different. I don't think so. They're just one of the, the one of the immortal races, just doing as they do, which is whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, they are ever changing. So there's like one sitting in the back with the head of a horse and the uh, like hands of an owl bear. And then there's just an owl bear, but with the head of a human. That's weird. Huh. It's my spirit, guys. <clears throat> this is really weird. <laughs> I don't know how to handle Think. it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say to the spring. Uh, so, damn it. Think, God, it's just every time Kina unmutes, it's to the sounds of dropping shit and then muting again. <laughs> Are you drunk? Can I have this drunk no, that's way? True. Now, if this was me, that'd be a, you know, fair question. Yeah. There's a reason why the corner bar I'm making won't have glass on it. Well, as, at least as the, uh, what is it called? As the shelves. Yeah. It's a good way to get my arteries cut. This is very fair. I'm just a bit clumsy when I come in the kitchen, when I, I'm unmuted. What, when you come in the kitchen? Well, obviously. <laughs> Just, just resting oh. your nuts on the countertop and going to work, just knocking shit over everywhere. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, yeah, I'm gonna say to the drab, uh, you've got a good memory to be on. Um, do you uh, know my um, mother? Um, she's Camille Walsh. She's a herbalist. Hmm. That name sounds very familiar, but I can't quite seem to place it. Huh. That's aggravating. This is the first time this has happened to me in 600 years. Oh. Uh, she might have uh, changed her surname. Um, I, I, she did uh, get married when she arrived here. Hmm. Um, I'm assuming you're gonna uh, um, try to tell her as much as you can. She's going to uh, sit there and uh, think really hard to herself, but uh, she seems relatively perturbed by the fact that she can't seem to remember. It's uh, a thing right on the uh, right on the edge of her mind that she can't quite seem to place, and she apologizes profusely. Hmm. If she was an herbalist, though, you might want to... she was an herbalist, though, you might want to either check in the Everbloom Market, or uh, if she was an herbalist and a spellcaster, maybe at the Eldritch Sanctum. At the Eldritch Sphincter, you say? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. So, uh, what brings you lot to town? Searching for this girl's mother? Yeah. 
is the long and short of it. Also, you know, it, it's a nice visit. Ah, yes. Um, Feymount is a very pleasant place to live. Very appropriately named as well. I know. I thought so too when I moved here. I'm sure the uh, fairies uh, who lived here had their own name for it, but, you know, people just called it Feymount because there were... This is built on a ancient uh, a she uh, Well, an ancient uh, sh uh, fey lord who passed out of memory and for the longest time it was unoccupied and simply called Feymount or, you know, the mountain where fey are. And I guess the name stuck when people moved in here about, I don't know, 1,500 years ago? And here I thought it was a joke about mounting Fey. Oh, plenty of that happens too, darling. There's still Fey around, isn't there? <laughs> there get, are. Get it? It's a, yeah. it's, it's a mount joke. Oh, yeah, I know. guys. <laughs> Bodhi, <laughs> Bodhi, Bodhi just sighs and rubs her head. <laughs> Uh, Don't worry, I've heard every single one many, many times. And you can't even forget them, so I imagine it's surely worse, right? Uh, well, at least they didn't open up with uh, Dryas Got Wood jokes. Oh, oh, hmm. And then she'll ponder back to the first time the party was, like, just chilling out in the Dryad Cave after restoring everyone, and remember specifically both Voland and then later on Marlon making those exact same jokes and not realizing <laughs> that they'd both done it, and just goes, yeah, no, really lucky, actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how bad he's trying not to make a plug right so now. These... <laughs> Just, just a bunch of just a bunch of common fuckboys, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of fuckboys. I mean, I neither confirm nor deny. Oh no, you just like to be fucked by boys. We know this to be true. Other <laughs> way around, man. Other way. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Maya will meaningfully tap her sketchbook. <laughs> uh, special, uh, did you actually sketch the one with her and uh, with him and first played Karila? Wasn't there the yes. the? There's plenty of sketches of him like just speared on shark penis. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, I I stuck around there for several hours, um, the first time and then the second time when it was like. When Cornelia was there as well. Don't forget, about, don't forget about the time with the goblin. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of porn of Roland in her sketchbook. Let's, <laughs> let's just put it that way. There's just a whole lot of fucking, like, you know, when someone just oozes disappointment in their companions. Like, we're supposed to be heroes, guys. No, <laughs> to go out, go, do good deeds, bring sweet, sweet vengeance to those who deserve it. Eventually, if we get enough of them, it'll be like a flip book. It did need quite a bit of editing first. Just, just so much sighing. <laughs> uh, just uh, constantly has the kiff sigh on uh, repeat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yes. Um, she'll ask, you know, a bit of a long short a shot, but do you have any uh, kind of drinks that would suit, you know, a gargoyle? A bit of a taste for minerals? We don't really get uh, much of your kind here, Old Stone, but I actually do think I might have something for you. Mineral water. <laughs> your kind are remarkably resilient. I didn't want to suggest it. My <laughs> are remarkably resilient to most uh, alcoholic effects, aside from ones that are magically enchanted, of course, like fey wine and fawn wine and the like. Oh, I I'm not interested in getting drunk. It's just for flavor, politeness and sipping. Uh, I think you'll uh, 
find this one to your liking. And she pulls out a very, very, very old bottle. And it appears to be... Uh, it, it has, like, a small, like, bell bottom. But then the neck itself just uh, twirls in on itself about six or seven times before becoming a spout. Ooh. I'm not exactly entirely sure what this is called. I was only t uh, told that... Um, it's very old, and that it's possibly of Titan or origin. Other than that, I don't know. Interesting. Let's look it over. Uh, do I recognize it in any way? Um... Uh, your mom was more the artist, but the thing is, artists and, like, uh, alcohols go together <laughs> They chase quick. the stone fairy. Yeah. Um, you know what, sure. Uh, maybe you haven't had too much of it yourself, but you do know that this was uh, a creation of one of your uncles, who was a uh, titan celestial god of, like, merrymaking. Hmm. He's that weird uncle that... No one real, that, that people only kind kind of like sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, that weird one. old creepy Uncle Jerry. Nah, creepy, he's a fun. But uncle. he makes really good booze. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's a fun uncle. The creep the creepy one just makes uncle. really really yeah. yeah. The creepy one just makes really really good guac, and that's what the only reason why he's invited. <laughs> yeah. Really really. All ah, right. It's fan. It is fantastic guac. guac yeah. Hmm. Yeah, alright, sure. Uh, how much? They'll never tell you what the recipe is, and secretly you just end. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Just quietly accept that it is incredible. Let's not unveil that darkness. So, can I just strut my stuff around here and hope I get some people who want business cards? Uh, sounds like a performance check to me. Now, uh, let me uh, finish. Uh, uh doing stuff with Bodhi. I need to look up under goods and services. Um, would it be alchemical creations? I, I, I don't remember. Uh, adventuring. Clink, clank. What, sorry, what are you looking for? Um, Like alcohol prices. Oh, that's under under adventuring goods, food, and services. Adventuring and gear. Or is, it good, or is it goods and services? I am under goods and services, but adventuring oh. gear is under that. Oh. So let's find out. I mean, it should just be under, there should just be food and shelter and stuff, and it's under there. Food and drink. It's food and drink. Bottom. Yeah, that's it. Food and drink. Bottom heading on adventuring gear, straight. Oh, on adventuring gear. All right. Yeah. There you go. Um, so, how much do you want? Do you want just like a glass, or do you want a bottle? We'll just go with a, with a glass. She's not a heavy drinker. Um, the most expensive thing on this list is a bottle of absinthe. Yeah. At 30 gold. Yeah, this will be about uh, two, two gold pieces. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, she'll fork over two gold. It tastes real good. Sweet. You imagine uh, if any uh, if any of your party members were to try it, it wouldn't, but to you it just tastes divine. Oh gosh, it's like the world's sweetest gravel. Thank you very much. So how much gold was that? Three? Two. Two. Dope. And now I'm at six, six, six gold. Excellent. Campaign's over, guys. We did it. Yay! I win! Hooray! I win the game! Don't it! Alright. Uh, so, um, it is, like, uh, mid-afternoon. Okay. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I know Thel's exploring the market. I'm walking advertisement. Yeah, you need to make a performance check for that. I actually have another question for the dryad lady here. 
Yep. I'm just going to take your tokens and put them over there so you guys can just move to where you are. Um, it brought, actually brought us here was, I, um, I was sent a letter by my, um, half-sister, um, she said that, uh, a place, I, this, uh, town had recently been attacked by people, um, do you know anything about that? Attacked? Feymount was never attacked. The last time someone tried to attack it was during the war. Uh... And they were all summarily trapped within the mountains. Hmm. Alright, uh... Here, um, have a look at this. Uh, this is the letter that she uh, sent me. I think we ended up at the wrong place. She's gonna look over the letter and look over the directions and then frown at you. This is the right town, but I assure you there was no witch by this name and no witch's daughter. I have no idea who this Leah person is. <laughs> she sounds very fam. The only Leah in this town is a uh, snow-haired Katsune at the Eldritch Sanctum. Say, um, what? Can, do you have the date? I mean, we were in the Fey Paths. So it's probably a good thing to keep to, you know, check. Oh, that makes sense. This is the sixteenth of April. Oh, okay. No, and and oh, well, the year. Oh, and it is the right year here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just say uh, that's, I, I, that's I, good. The sixteenth. I have all of the, yeah. The you guys left the morning on the 15th. Oh. Um, I actually don't remember the date. I know that uh, this is like Age of Metal, like, uh, no, no, this is actually uh, next year, uh, the turn of the year will be Age of Metal 1. This is the last year of the Age of... Uh, What's it called? The the age of resurgence. So I think it's like resurgence two thirty six. Swish. Okay. I was a little worried there for a second. I was like worried and like, oh god, what could happen yeah. for a second? Because I had written down that we had started our we had we were it was April eighteenth when we were at the goddess's house. Hmm. I thought it said fifteenth, but if. Everyone says I said 18th, then I said 18th. I don't fucking remember. Right. So it is now the 18th, or is it now? So it's now the 18th, or is it? Um, does anyone? The 19th. Well, I think Kanat has wrote it can down. Can you just like settle one way or the other? It doesn't actually matter. I was just going. Yes, it does on uh, my little sheet I have going on. Um, does anyone remember other than Kanathis? Because if Kanathis wrote it down, then it's now the 19th. Yeah, I have no and fucking I idea. To, I just need to take some stuff off. Holy shit, oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I was <laughs> Okay. Anyways. Um I yeah, I assure you this um witch that she claims to have married has never lived here and I know only one Leah in this entire city and she's the Kitsune who lives in the Eldritch Sanctum. Dang, okay. Hmm. You're in the right place, but I think someone might have just pulled an elaborate prank on you. It was all an elaborate ruse. An elaborate oh. ruse! Oh no. Six. Hmm. It's a lot of effort to go- well, it might not actually be a lot of effort to go to for an elaborate ruse. It's just a very complicated place to send us. Huh. Well, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. What say you then, Maya? Do we continue looking around? Um... If she said she was an herbalist, then I suppose checking around might not be totally out of order. Do you know of anyone who might know Maya's mother, just by chance? 
Hmm. Well, uh, any spellcaster would be uh, traveling through the Elder's Sanctum. The, um, uh, perhaps you could check for augury at the Legardemain uh, altar? Or, I mean, I suppose you could ask Leah herself. She was included in your little ruse, and this description of herself does sound like the Leah I know. Hmm. Sure. Seems like a good place to start. I don't know. It, it's your call in this case, Maya. We, we already went and did my thing. I think that you've got lead on it. I would like to point out that she is hardly the type to send pranks. She's a bookish... Uh, scholarly type hmm. yeah but I mean hmm. is it perhaps secret code that was sort of what I was thinking yeah mm. it, let's take a look here yeah actually since like that other journal was in code remember yeah I will look it over. Uh, there's one thing, now, now that we're no longer um, skill crunched, I don't get to just blanket have way more skills than I actually have. <laughs> Damn you, paladins! <clears throat> Damn you! Uh, I will also roll. <laughs> Shit, that wouldn't even be an assist. Having... <laughs> Having the same int. Nope. L literally one third of the number. Okay. I roll deep. Occasionally. I actually have not been rolling very good up until now. <laughs> At last, a good roll. Uh, it, it was indeed a good roll, but uh, as far as you can tell, there's no artifice in this. Just right. If there is a code, I'm not spotting it. Mm. You're at the Everbloom market, you can't help. <laughs> Marlon's just talking to himself in the middle of the market. You immediately ran off to the uh, Everbloom market. He's just flexing his linguistics muscles. Yeah. Screw this. Letter. Dispel magic. Hmm. Yay! That's a lot of dispel magic. It's not under a spell, is it? Yes. It is? Yep. All the words disappear. Huh. And in the middle is a single sigil. It is a large circle with three smaller circles interplayed in the middle and then a bunch of lines drawn between them. Wow. I I never thought getting frustrated at something would actually work. Unless that's... I never, I never hmm. thought you would actually think to uh, look at this card to see if it was magic, or just randomly try to dispel magic the card. The letter, I mean. Uh, here's, here's where it, it turns out that that's like a magic for, you, for the letter to write itself when you recite, and literally all you did was just fucking <laughs> just ruin the whole thing. Um, so do you know what this symbol means? Uh, who are you asking? Dryad. Yeah, Dryad. Uh, let's find out. Go, random. Pub Arcana. <laughs> no. I have no idea. It looks like a spell sigil of some sort. It definitely looks like it did a magic. <laughs> yeah, sadly, if you do dispel magic on expl I say sadly, if you do dispel magic on explosive runes and, you know, like, nail the caster level check, then it doesn't, you know, explode. It just dispels. If you fluff explosive runes on purpose, though, when you dispel it, then it just goes off like a bomb. If it was explosive runes, it would have exploded the minute she read it. This yeah. is true. It's just, I prepared she this read message. read it, did it? Yep. Nice. Uh, 
Thank you for your help. I think I'm going to take this to the Eldritch Sanctum. Um, they might... Uh, which way is that? Um, she will uh, tell you that it is out the door and uh, honestly just across the street. You uh, go up the stairs. She also will point out that if you saw on your way in the little... Uh, floating signs that seem to be just bristling with signs. If you uh, talk to it and you ask it, uh, say, uh, you know, I want to buy some food or where is this? It will rotate and point the sign in the direction that you want to, uh, the place that you want to go. Where will I find true love? And just points at the whole house. Thank you, magic <laughs> sign. I'm not saying that it wasn't programmed to do that, but it is now. Yay. So it's a well-behaved sign, let's face it. Okay, uh, well, I uh, will finish the glass and, and ask if you would like the company or if this is, you know, family shit to handle. I, I, I think company would be very nice. Thank you, Brody. I, um, I sort of didn't expect that to do anything, and I'm kind of slightly in shock. Sure, sure. Just shrug, uh, finish her glass, give the dryad a nod of thanks, and uh, probably tip her an extra silver. And then, yeah, following along, she you know gets up off the bar stool and then immediately returns to towering over everyone. But this time, I'll statuesque and naked like. Lead on. You get hit on by a Katsune. Um. Uh, she'll, you know, politely smile and uh, wave her hands off. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I can roll to see how charming they were about it. Uh, give it a go, maybe she'll come back. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, um, Kitsune have pretty high charisma, so I'll give above average, sure. Against the mighty paladin will. Yeah, I don't expect it to do anything, especially with my rolls. Watch, a one, and then the Kitsune just trips over her own floof. 21. Huh. I rolled a nine. <laughs> so you know what maybe it's just because she's had a drink she doesn't really drink usually and maybe she's just a little bit fuzzy at the edges and goes I'll be around later if you like shrug awkwardly and then follow up to the she winks alright so we're gonna go around to see what people did um, so Maya and Bodhi and Lirali have gotten to do some Marlum you ran over to the Everblue market what are you doing as soon as you heard market, you turned around and ran out the door. Bob? Bobby? Yeah, Bob, I'm here. Uh, okay. Uh, I was eating, and so I uh, took off uh, my okay. headset. So, uh, okay. Fair. Oh, speaking of eating, I have not done so today. I really... I might make a sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, we don't have... Don't do that, Sly. Yeah. Um, in fact, while this is ongoing, then yes, I will be AFK to fix myself up on Sandwich. Uh, don't explode anything while I'm gone. On purpose. Feel free to explode things totally by accident. That's just I mean, extra drama. Yeah, you have time. I'm going to go through Voland, uh, Lirali, and Corlea's thing. So. I'm going to look for rare herbs and spices that this place should hopefully have. He finds super right? weed. <laughs> All right, Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bob. Bobby. Roll me a d10. I don't know. Well, let's see if you can. The, the market is rather large. You do not find it within the small amount of time you have to comb through the entire to the market. It's a very large market. Okay. Is there hmm. anything else you're trying to do? Um, special materials? Sure. What you yeah. looking for? 
Uh, they probably won't have it, but let's see. Oh, yeah, I meant to ask. Ooh. Uh, what? Um, what is your thing for weapons with, like, this, the uh, Chthonic Steel? Chthonic Steel, you say? Yes. Let me look that up on the SRD. He just linked it. Did he? Where? Oh, I'm right there. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just pronounced phonic steel. Yeah. Is it? Pretty sure. I feel okay. like, yeah. Yeah, it actually. I remember looking that up. It's that kind of red gold metal. Yes. It gives bonuses for grit. The problem might be, you know, it's tempered in dragon's blood. But in flavor text, the, it's just that the blade, ne the the a blade made out of this metal, never never loses its its sharpness. It's it's cool. Also, I believe it also makes it in following enchantments like cheaper or something. Yep. Yeah. Slightly cheaper. Percent cheaper. Mm. Which in of itself is pretty good. Bob, they have swag. a small amount of thonic steel. Um, yeah, very small amount though. Define small, like ounces. Mm. No, no, they have uh, at most about five to ten pounds. Mm. That actually works fairly well. Given that you only need to make like the blade out of it, that's enough, right? Mm. Technically, yes, it'd only be a few. It'd still be it'd be pretty close to yeah, I'd say probably still be pretty close to five pounds overall with shaving and forging and overall finish. But but that's actually yeah, because how much does the two handed longsword weigh? Uh great sword. Listed mm -hmm. weight of eight pounds. Hmm. Hmm. Or or should I go for the lead line? Make my weapon lead line. Just hmm. Which is a lot less. I sort of like the gold red look because it looks like Iron Man. That's <laughs> a lie. That's oh, one. I see. That's why you want the phonic steel. What? Nothing. He's shopping right now. Yeah. So, um. Oh, uh, the thing is, it's for a weapon. It's not for my actual armor. It's for my, uh, It's for my actual, um... For the chainsword, yeah? Yeah, for the, for the chainsword. For the teeth? Yeah. Well, man. Mm. Oh, I mean, not, I mean, it's obviously the teeth. But I wonder how much of this would I have to make for it to... Get some of its uh the um the magic uh bonus the magic the the cheapening of the magic probably if it's the the part of the whole sword basically is there enough thonic steel for him to make a thonic steel chain sword out of yes sure but only one.
Mm -hmm. you, you, you heard me, right? Yes. All right. Price um, is as listed in the uh, uh, SRD. So for raw material, that's like 375 gold. Yeah, get me with that. Come on, come on, work with me, computer. Never. You know, the uprising has started, and your character sheet is your first victim. It's three hundred and like seventy-five. You said for the material. Yeah. This might not be the only uh, chainsaw that I made. It, it is a good first one. It is the more expensive of the two. Three, two, eight. Okay. I, uh, there we go. Nope. 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 There we go. Fixed. Yay. So I have... Ah, yes. So, what are you doing? Oh no, I'm I'm not making it now. That's uh, I was just uh, looking for. Okay, well then you got to tell me when you're when you're done. Uh, uh, I, 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 I was doing I was doing math things. All right. So, um, let's see what else would I want uh... to go to the red light district. No, I need to save my money. I, they don't even hand out. District in this city? Isn't that just the municipality? Ah, I mean, fair, but you know, it's not like everyone's like that. You can't just walk up to someone and like throw money at them. That's not how it works. Um, you go up to them and say, "Hey, baby, you want some fuck?" <laughs> and you know, then you're turned into a rabbit for the rest of your life. Uh, I mean, this is possible. Does this place have the equivalent of a library? Um, you can ask around, yes. And uh, you will be pointed to the Eldritch Sanctum. Yeah. I'll, I'll do some book learning and stuff from there. Probably about some advanced magic theory or something. Or... No, no, you know what? I'll just stick with a stick with a, a very simple advanced like in in a different language, like in a slightly different like a giant wrote text on how to do magic. Just, oh okay. All right. So um you're doing that. Uh, Lirlai, what, I mean, not Lirlai, um, the Corlea? other one hasn't gone. Corlea, what are you doing? What am I doing? Probably getting a drink. Oh, okay, well then you're over at the inn, so put your token over there. Oh, yeah, and Volan's over there too. Get over there. You're in the inn. You're doing a dance. It's not re It's not really. Uh, Fifteen doesn't really impress into, uh, enough to take more than a a couple of your business cards. It still work. I believe that Maya and Bodhi are going up here. I'm gonna stick uh, Hoots up here. She's gonna perch. Cause that's what they do. So, you just gonna start slamming drink at the Swift Huntress? Yes. Cool. Um, you going for the hard stuff, or you just, you know? Yes. 
Cool. Uh, what are you drinking? You know what? I don't know. I'm what am I drinking? Water. You're going to go for, like, the Fey wine? What are you doing? I think I'll go for Fey wine, yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, Fey wine is stronger than Nymph wine. So, uh, are you going to go, like, straight up to Fey wine? Because, like, Nymph wine is fortified wine. Fey wine, you wonder why it's called that? Because it just has such high alcohol content. It's like brandy almost. In fact, it Isn't might actually be brandy. Wine, yeah. I'll have whatever Corley is having. I return. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I, yeah, I'm gonna go straight to Fey wine. I don't know what's going on. So Lirali just like bursts out of the water. You still have your clothes on? Oh, I yeah, I'm like completely. I'm just totally soaked. Like fuck. I mean, why would I have? Well, I, I'm I'm just asking. Yeah. Because Corley is naked right now. Hang on, give me a second. Uh, people are coming in now, and I need to make sure who's here and who's not. All right. So, uh, Lirali is soaked and clothed. Very Voland, well. Yeah. Voland is trying to, uh, work the rounds, trying to, you know, uh, talk his wares. And, uh, Corlea has shed her clothes and has started drinking Fey wine. So, um, Fort save. Fey wine does require a fort save. Well, that's a low uh, roll for me. Uh, you do pass the fort save, but you're still going to be uh, taking less damage. Lirli, what are you drinking? I said I was going to have what Corley is having. Okay, so you also need a fortitude save. Oh no! <laughs> so you are now uh, tipsy, tipsy after one drink. And you also uh, basically takes max plus damage. Woo! Yeah, it's a party! So, yes. Uh, the girls are drinking. What are you doing? How, how, how much less damage? Uh, it's, it, it doesn't go in, like, uh, increments like that. Basically, you can't avoid when you're drinking Fey wine. Uh, if you drink a certain amount of times, it just maxes out. If you fail, then uh, if you fail your roll, then it maxes out faster. But it's basically I'm not going to tell you until it happens. But it, uh, it 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 doesn't give you like specific points. It increases by a certain percentage every time, whether you uh, pass or fail. I'm just gonna treat myself as aroused right now. Minus two. Hmm. We'll find out. Voland, what are you doing? I think I'm just going to strut the town and see what happens. Okay. Volan leaves and starts strutting. We'll get to him in a minute. So we'll put Volan over here. Hmm. Yeah. Why do I have the arrows in the back picture? Hmm? I didn't put that on you. That's not the arrows in the back picture. The arrows in the back picture is uh, uh, that one with arrows. Yeah, that's just the. Um, like... Let's see, my back hurts. So... <laughs> it's that, that's meant to be prone, I believe, but honestly, it yeah. kind of looks like instead you're being raped by a hedgehog. I was literally <laughs> about to say that. Oh, God. Oh, man. So, um. Are uh, I'm basically going to ask: Are you two going to drink enough to get uh, max lusted? Mm. I'm gonna have to start making will saves to stop drinking. If it gets to be, if it's if if Lirali starts getting too tip too uh, drunk, she's gonna make a will save to stop herself. I can't no uh, no. Uh, well, can't, there's can't a with Feywine, um, you probably won't get too drunk before you um, get too excited. 
Oh, only Jesse were here. That's how Feywine works. Or that big, big, big gargoyle. It is yeah. basically brandy, but it, I will never remember to say Fey brandy. Yeah. Corley is here at least. Fairy juice. Yeah. So, um, if you uh, guys keep drinking, eventually uh, other people will uh, start to join in with your drinking, especially because um, fairly certain that uh, Corlea is wearing anything, and it's very obvious uh, when, um, yeah. So. Yeah. So the question is, are you going to let yourself be pulled by a bunch of kitsune and fairies into, you know, fun times? Into fun fuck times! Like, I'm going to make the make will say at disadvantage. By pulled, I mean like, you know, Fandy? Uh, uh, Why won't you let me make my will save a disadvantage? Mm -hmm. What did, what did it say? What did it tell you? Twenty. Okay, there we go. Twenty. Is twenty uh, too little? Too uh, much? Or do, 20, I win? do I not? Do I not go? Okay, twenty is enough for you to uh, be in uh, enough. Uh, in enough of your senses to go, oh, maybe I don't want to uh, be with, like, 30 Kitsune fairies in a bar. I mean, Corlea, I'm fairly certain I know what Winter's gonna do. I'm gonna keep drinking. I'm bonding with Corlea today, so let's keep Yay. drinking. And uh, you didn't, uh, Winter, y uh, you didn't shoo away the, like, Kitsunis and Fairies, did you? Never do. I see, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna, like... I explained this in porn chat last night. She she takes it where she can get it, because she can't reach it normally. Oh my god, I'm so sneaky. What did you sneak? That's what I sneak. Oh. Yeah, it looks like you got some consenticles climbing in. There's some there's, yes. some, there's some amorous tentacles. The best kind. <laughs> I just glanced over at the fucking Discord and remember said, This game, like Walt Disney's head, has been put on ice until further notice. What's going on? Savage. In the, the Road Trader chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty good line. I don't think M was around Thank for you. that. Uh, M, I got a job. I know you're in this chat. And so uh, 40k is going to be on hiatus for a while. And we're just going to be running Stray Finder every week. Because uh, there will only be two hours for uh, left for every game. And uh, the games will literally grind to a halt if I only am running, if I'm only running one different game a week. So nothing will happen. Happen. So, all right. Um, I'm just going to write this down because saying out loud will be suspect. At least for the next couple of months, and then I'll be on my own. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. Surely you mean some kind of uh, um, lascivious, drugged up Kitsune Fey fuck pile starts to form on the the grounds of the Swift Huntress Inn. Yes. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, what's happening. Leerlight, you go along with it? 
Just like, oh, yes, at this point, yes. <laughs> uh, does the Larian use her uh, brain magic to appear? Um, Just, I see, I, I, I sense this. My spider sense is tingling. Uh... For I once, they probably won't because she just got off of a fucking two-week Kitsune goddess binge and is still probably coasting in the afterglow slash bruising from that. So, like, imagine going from that to then just, like, you know, everyday Kitsune. Instead, she probably just mind bombs some of the more select moments out of that little scenario. Uh, at Lirali and Corlia both. Just to, you know, really push them beyond fucking over the edge. Alrighty. <laughs> Volan. Yes. Um, you're going around. Uh, in what way do you mean you're selling yourself? I assume that means your wares. Uh, sure. Yes. That's what he names his testicles. So, um, you can make me a performance or a. What's charm? I'm, I'm thinking 40k. Sex. Diplomacy. Diplo. Di dip di diplomacy. Charisma, yeah. A charisma based check that is relevant to hawking your wares. You can choose one. Graham. Yeah. Charisma. Yes. Diplomacy or would profession also be a possibility if literally it's hawking the business? Sure, why not? Okay, give me a sec. God, there are a lot of amazing things about uh, the mechanics wise how fucked the whole setting is. Uh, the more the um, the basic commoner technically has no idea what a dog or a cat or a cow is. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty fucked up. We keep we keep squeezing the breasts of this crazy farm animal beast, and it gives us milk. Keep going. Wait, do it. they even know what milk is? <laughs> I feel like they have to know that one. <laughs> just What's white, that? white, white liquid is coming out of this thing's large nipples. Drink it; it's good for you. I think. Maybe it could be. A sure. Mind tile, sure, Volan. Do you get? Uh, you pass the twenty, so uh, you can uh, get some interested parties in your. I, I assume you can, uh, walk around with like examples of your work. Yes, and yeah. the, and the loincloth. So, I mean, th that bit isn't really impressive when literally everyone is wearing similar to less than what you're wearing, but, um, it, you know, I, I don't think anyone's going to be paying particular attention to your monogrammed loincloth, as hilarious as that is. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, depending on which part of the city I'm in, they might pay attention. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, you're able to find out just, like, uh, uh, around here, most people get, like, magic weapons and stuff like that and uh, have their own, like, face myths. But, you know, uh, uh, some do express interest in your uh, foreign wares, and uh, you, you get a, a little bit of interest. And now that that is done, there is, the Huntress Inn has become... Uh, well, I say become, it already was what, uh, is going on right now. It's just, you got, you guys caught them in a lull. Or do whatever bit. they want. Alright, so, uh, Maya, Bodhi, and Marlum all meet up at the Eldred Sanctum. Maya and Bodhi, you guys, uh, walk over there, cause, you know, that's where you were sent. And then you see Marlum coming the same direction. With, uh, almost a skip in his step. Look at that boy. <laughs> So happy. Uh, yes, yes, he has, uh, what are they called? Heelys. Heelys, oh god. <laughs> In his power I armor. remember those <laughs> things. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Can you do both? Uh, he, he's a, he's an artificer. He can do both. <laughs> he's smart enough. The wheel lights up too, with an underglow. Amazing! You you've got like uh you've got like what those uh what are they called? I guess you call them hood cars, you know, where mm -hmm. it's underlit and everything. Yeah. <laughs> all right then. So you all meet up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God no. <laughs> Spinners <laughs> on the side of your boots. Uh... <laughs> what is a turbo spur? Yes. Oh, hey, Mama. Uh, what's got you looking so excited? Hmm? Oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, he got he got some new special materials. Possibly for his new, uh, it probably in a back. You know what? It, there's a little contraption of no, no, it's it's in, it's in his back, it's in a bag. <laughs> like he has like a, a hundred and what 150 pounds of carry weight. That's uh, special materials. Yeah. Uh, not this one. <laughs> Holds up probably like I wouldn't say a bar, like a sheet of the um of cathonic steel. I guess a bar would work. Yeah, I just imagine it not being the same. A disc, a disc of cathonic of thonic steel. <laughs> it turns out that the only uh casting thing they had at the time was a human cannonball uh cast. <laughs> <Keep thawing. laughs> I mean to, I think I meant to say disc, but <laughs> close enough. It's just a sphere. I'll figure out how to turn this into a weapon later. <laughs> No, it's just like in uh, that new game, Prey, you know? They're all just little cubes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to play that game. Money. It, it looks yeah, really it's still fun. still quite uh, expensive. Oh, uh, this Thonic Steel, I do have a question. It um, Technically, it gives me a plus two bonus to crit confirmation but we don't do confirmation so do i just ignore that uh yeah okay so okay so it's just basically i just get the e it's easy to enchant yeah okay that's cool i back. might give you like another uh, talk to me later we'll we'll figure it out i mean it fucking yeah. stops magic missiles from working that's pretty fucking dope yeah it it doesn't do that if it's a weapon oh. yeah I, and I don't have enough for like power armor. I I have enough. I somebody somebody uh, did somebody better than me at math. Did the, I can actually buy the adamantium needed for my actual armor now? I've had it for two. And when you say someone better than you at math, you mean someone who actually worked out how to use the SRD search function? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was poor form, but I think Thella's giving you an uh, advantage because she's the best. You got a profane bonus. Get in there. Mm, nice. But uh, but I figured they won't have adamantium up here. We'll probably meet it <clears throat> further up. Fuck up. Someone got a little bit too drunk. Someone got too drunk. Yep. Uh -huh. Nobody needs to have whiskey tentacle syndrome. No. Oh no, you tried that all sagging. Oh no. Oh no. My tentacles. You are failing me. <laughs> it's less whiskey dick and more whiskey schleck.
I'm not just looking at fancy metals. It, it's always fun to look at. What's the sex check again? Or is it just whatever you want? Perform sex. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have that train, damn it. I mean, if you ask around, there is a uh, a well-known uh, uh, brothel over there. Yes. I mean, check that shit out. That's a crit fail of 28. Valerian is very good at what she does, and what she does is other people. <laughs> God damn it. So yeah, it's obviously a good thing she didn't go along, because even though it's like the best sex any of them would have had, she'd have been like, uh, it's not doing it for me. <clears throat> We've got some news as well, Mom. Good news and bad news. Mm-hmm. Bad news, um, you know the letter that was sent? Um, apparently it's full of shit, and none of it's true. Uh. The good news is that I uh, got really mad and used a spell magic on it, and I... That looks like this, here. And Maya's gonna whip out the letter and show him the symbols. Marlum, Arcana check. Can I roll to assist him? Sure. Right. Wait, I wonder. I wonder if there's anything that gives you me have advantage. A... You can roll a second time. <laughs> Not that it would matter for the first time, but go <laughs> ahead. Let's see if you can crit. No. You can't crit. However, huh, that was eleven. Look at that. Eleven and ten. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what you're able to discern from this is this appears to be a, a sort of really, really old and kind of profane uh, sigil, and it's used to uh, anchor magic and specifically to uh, make the, the spell itself seems to have been uh, cloaked. It seems that this was a tracking spell. Oh, that bodes so well. Hmm. Tracking. We're... Uh, we're being watched. <laughs> I mean, I dispelled it, though. Well, we're not being watched now. But someone wants to know where we're at. Uh, oh, is it like a tracking spell? Yes, it's that's pretty much it's a tracking um, rune. <laughs> Good luck. They tried to follow us into the Fey, into a magic bubble in the mountain. Wait, didn't we go to someplace um, super secret that? It wouldn't have worked there. Yeah. It probably got destroyed the moment we popped through that gate right outside it. Well, the tracking probably did, and even if it didn't, they're awake now. But also, I'm a little bit angry that this is the case. And I'm gonna have to have serious words with whoever put this rune down. Yeah. You can hear, like, knuckles popping in her joints. Which is entirely for show. She doesn't need to pop knuckles. She can't actually really do it. It's just gravel noises. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's not exactly uh, cool with it either. He's... They're they're tracking me down. They they might be after my recipe. <laughs> they want to check in. Yeah, you know what? In fact, at the entrance to the Eldritch Centum, Bodhi starts climbing back into her armor again and getting out her weapon. I'm gonna they're be after going me. with more caution now. That might be a good idea. Yeah, Bodhi. Yes, I'm gonna. Just looks down. Uh, I'm pretty much already ready. But... Yeah, damn it. Maya is going to fiddle with her um horrible mask and cast um mage armor on herself. 
shwink. As her at will ability allows her to. It's pretty cool. Well, not at will, but like once per day thing. You know. Yeah. Cool. Beats. So, after that, what do you do? Head inside. Kind of slap a fox. It okay. Was like uh, Leah was the main, right? Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Let's go find her. All right. So uh, you enter the Eldritch Sanctum, and uh, hang on. Give me a second. Oh. Okay. Sorry, uh, had to. Uh, someone was talking to me. Um, so, um, you guys head into the Eldritch Sanctum and you enter a large, uh, a large oval room that, you know, ha has a, you know, a great many bookshelves and things lining the walls, and uh, there is a desk with a little bell on it that says "Ring me." I feel like Bodhi can't be trusted to ring the bell, otherwise she might end up smashing it through the desk. My eyes I'll are really it. too weak to damage it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's just literally like the hand goes down on the bell like crunch and just smashes it into the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I rig it successfully. Ding, ding. All right. Give me a second for this thing to. Uh, kind of disappointed this was already here, but okay. Yep. Yep. And. Uh, no one's going to get that joke, but okay. And you hear a small whistling noise that just starts getting louder and louder as it approaches, coming from above you. Yeah, all right, we'll uh -huh. look up. And as you look up, a bolt of light uh, flies down, and bloop, a little fairy appears. Hi! Ooh, look at you. Uh, everyone's in armor and clothed and mage armored. <gasps> Adventurers, gotcha. Should have guessed by, like, the dude in power armor and the gargoyle and Slow like the half wolf. <clears throat> We're here to meet a kitsune named Leia. Oh? Uh, did you have an appointment with her? She's expecting us. Is she? Yeah. She doesn't really expect anyone. She spends all the day in the tower practicing magic and being a nerd. No, she's expecting us. Uh, Squint. Sent us a magical message. Uh, I'm a nerd. They are also both nerds. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in power armor, I'm a nerd. Doom guy shows up. Yeah, totally nerd, guys. <laughs> Super nerd. And then you see him pull out his collectible doll. Alright, yeah, he's a nerd. <laughs> Uh, it's collectible doll, and then he like ad he adjusts a pocket protector. Uh, okay. Um. Sure. Uh. Yeah. She's just that way. Uh. You go through the bookshelf, and you go to the tower to the left, right, left, right, and then up. Left, right, left, right, up. Okay. Yes. Then up, then down, then down, then B, then A. Then start. Stop. Bye! And she just kind of, uh, you know, uh, corkscrews up and goes to, uh, uh, passes through the ceiling. Uh, hmm. Well, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, let's. Um, yeah. No, she said through the bookcase. I like, is there an obvious passage? Otherwise, she's going to fucking walk through a bookcase. And it's not going to stop her. <laughs> Alright, so you, 
you walk towards uh, the bookshelf, and you are level seven, yes. You oh. walk towards the bookshelf, and just as you think you're about to smack your nose into it, it opens. Yep. It opens to the side. You got lucky, bookshelf. The bookshelf doesn't say anything back. It is a bookshelf. Yeah, that's what I think. You stay quiet, you little wuss. Yeah, right. you should think. It's a bookshelf. And then <laughs> I go left. And then right. And then left. And then right. And then up. Alright, well you go left, right, left, right. And then there's no stairs leading up. I fly. Alright, so you start flying. And uh, when you look up, there is a door. Cool. And it opens. And then you fly through, and rather than being <laughs> up anymore, your uh, the floor the like it, it's non Euclidean, so you end up just like uh, flying perpendicular to the ground. Awesome. Okay. I'll look through the uh, sigh, and then like I guess then what I'm doing is I'm standing at a doorway, and then I stick my arm out, which is now technically hanging down, but to me I'm stood upright. And then I will hand out my, I'll uh, hold out my hand to pull her up. Well, um, I'll give you guys, you know, before you do that, there is a chance to do a perception check. But you know, Bodhi just kind of started flying up, so uh, you know that you don't need a perception check. There's just uh, magical words that uh, I guess Bodhi missed because she didn't give me a chance to say. It says try jumping. Yeah. <laughs> You jump, you go through the door, and now you land face first on the ground next to Bodhi. That's a dirty trick. I'll hold them, I'll <laughs> hold them both up, right? That is face up. That's a dirty trick. At least try, you're both try, wearing try. headgear. Yeah, sure. Uh, flensed and long dried skin. Uh, Really help protect against that. Ow. Yeah. Um. You'll be fine. Pat in the back. And then, yeah, continuing on. Okay. So. Uh, you move on, and eventually you reach a large carved door. Sweet. Uh, I speak Sylvan. Is there any kind of, like, nameplate on this bitch? No, not really. There's just a handle in the middle of the door. Sweet. Not near the side. I push and or pull. Okay. Um, well, assuming you twist the doorknob. Yeah. No, no, I rip the door. I'm just fucking hold it off its hinges. I don't give a shit. No, no, I, I open it. When you twist the doorknob, <laughs> the uh, door turns out to be made into like eight different pieces that all slide backwards. If I weren't so really quite annoyed, I'd be absolutely enamored with the architecture. Alright. And in the middle of the room is just a room filled with books. This is a room filled with books. And in like the middle of the room, there's like various stacks of just books lying around. And uh, sitting on a small pile of books is a white-haired Kitsune, very busily uh, reading. It doesn't seem to she's no noticed you. That's cool. Um, She's about to notice a foot going up her ass. <laughs> you know what? You make a very good point. She notices a foot going up her ass. I so mean... <laughs> you attack her? No, not properly. She gets like you know you know when someone's propped up and then you push them with your foot so they just topple. All right, shove her over. So it's like a uh... nudge. We'll see what what happens. Maybe she'll recover and gravity will be nice. So you're going to just straight up assault someone before you? No, I gave her a nudge. Maybe she'll fall over. Maybe she won't. That's that's on her. Um. Okay. I guess we'll find out. Was that like reflex for not toppling? Yeah, she's a contender. They have pretty good decks. Let's find out. Oh, by pretty good, I'm just going to say she gets a plus five. Okay, she doesn't fall over. Hey, what? Hey! What are you doing in here? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll look to I'll, I'll look to Maya. Would you like to start? I'm still really quite annoyed. <laughs> Maya, okay, kicks her in the head. <laughs> yeah, fucking just just does a running like fucking RKO. <laughs> As God was my witness, that kid certainly is broken in half! <laughs> You're a listener, right? Yeah? Who are you and what are you doing in my room? Why'd you kick me? It was a nudge. <laughs> Not you, you jerk. Try. Shorty. Well, my name's Maya. These are some friends of mine. Um, we just came here risking life and limb through a hazardous journey because you, or someone who has decided to impersonate you, sent us a letter saying that my mother had been kidnapped. And, you know, I'd really like some sort of explanation, at, at least a start of one, because this has not been an especially good thing to find out as just a prank. Just a prank, bra. She blinks and then stares at you. I have not sent anyone letters, like, really ever, except for here, to the keep, and then to the she, and then, you know, that's about it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Yes, really. And Maya's going to tell her the contents of the letter that she got as best as she can. With particular emphasis on the rather accurate de description of this kitsune and the location of this town. Alright. Well, she's going to just listen to you and just kind of uh, blank, you know, just kind of look at you with a blank look. I sent you no such letter. This town has never been attacked, and my mom is still very alive and lives down the street. I I have two questions. Yes, yeah, well... man in armor. <laughs> Man and <laughs> gathering to it. Uh, can you like reverse scry a tracking a a tracking room? Reverse scry? You mean try to find whoever casted a tra the tracking spell on you? Yes. A uh, wall well, on a piece of paper, but yes. I can't, but the archmage might. Would you happen to know this Archmage's location? I'm guessing you're new here. She lives in the Timeless Spire. Very good. Do you know the biggest thing in town? Yes, yes, biggest... yes. The sarcasm part isn't necessary. I'm aware of the location. You came into my room! Because we thought and that you totally really... fucked with us. I, I apologize for involving you in this. That said, you know, fucking... Have a bath. Neaten the place up a bit. Get some sun. <laughs> so like stomp out. Is there like a window or any way to get out of this building? Without going I mean, the hallway. Yeah, there's a window. Sweet. <laughs> she climbs onto the spire's edge. Uh, sorry, onto the window's ledge and just fucking launches herself out of it. I'll see you at the spire. I've got to go knock some heads around. Oh, uh, in fact, she'll pause like uh, hanging on the edge. Mind if I borrow that letter? Uh, I'm kind of pissed that someone I mean, might have scried the home of my mother. It, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you find out who it was, um, please come and get me so I can burn their fucking eyes out. 
Excellent. Yep, and she will accept the letter and then sp- fucking l- l- less fly out than it is burnt out of the window towards the spire. Yay! Wonderful! Get out of my room! Second question. <laughs> Do you know a human woman? Uh, human like, woman? Humans yes. don't ever come here. Worth, worth a shot asking. I mean... I, not that I remember, and she like scrunches up her nose and like one of her uh, ears will twitch. Hmm. I no, I don't. I don't know. I I'm not trained in this. Is there something right on the tip of your tongue? Almost. Okay. There's no. humans around here. Uh... Had the exact same thing at the bartender down at the Swift Huntress. She was the one that I... But said you are the only person with that same name in this whole city. So... You know, I'm the only one named Leah. I'm really... A, a fucking apparently. At least the only one who like matches the description in the letter named Leah. I I am really getting suspicious that someone is not just fucking with us, but actually doing something really, really evil and magic. Uh, uh, mm, hmm. All right, well, I'll go talk with her. And I'll bring Blominda with me. Mm. I'm, I, I'm actually starting to think, like, maybe I, maybe you should find a really, really powerful wizard or something and get them to, like, cast some sort of dispelling on you. Like, I'd do it myself, but I'm not actually as powerful as I would like to be. But... There is something weird going on. Mm. Although, admittedly, the last time I was this annoyed, I just cast a dispel magic super perfectly, so, you know, I'm tempted to just try it anyway. But then that might just set up some sort of defensive spell you have, and that would be really bad. You know, I, I, I don't want to get, like, accidentally incinerated. Um, I'm ranting. I'm sorry. It's also illegal to cast uh, magic within the Eldritch Sanctum without any permission. Because of the exact thing you just said. Wow. That's a really sensible law. I... Who made that? I want to go shake that hand. The only... The per- person, the archmage. Anyone hear me? Yeah, sorry, you lagged Hello. for a moment. Hello again. Okay. The <coughs> um, the person who founded this town after the other she left, the archmage Lave, the she of this town. Yeah. They are uncommonly sensible. I. Wow. Maya appears to be having a moment. <laughs> Voland, I'm not sure if you could recognize either uh, Lirali or uh, Corlea. Uh, Corlea under just a pile of floof. I, I don't I'm think just, he cares. He's just jumping in. <laughs> after after a certain point, I'm just diving in and searching for the Kraken. Belly flop. <laughs> Uh, just does the butter pat. The dog will find the way. <laughs> the butter pat. <laughs> <laughs> Glad someone's on my side. <laughs> All right then. All right. So, um, I assume the event uh, Mar- Maya and Marlon are going to leave uh, Leah's room. Fall on her face again, leaving probably. 
do war what? hero. The reverse door gravity thing. Oh. The reverse door gravity. <laughs> you just forget God, about it. it and then end up on your face again. <laughs> Mother of fuck. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna roll a will save. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's let's see how long Maya just spends ranting. Rant. Until oh. she is actually taken out of the room by someone else. She's um, just gonna probably more about like <laughs> if all you... of the stress and all of the trials and the voice in her head that's making her try and find her mother. Mm, yeah. Uh another part of that uh voice in your head, it seems to uh be a lot lessened recently. You don't know why. Uh, the desperate pull on your uh, psyche has lessened somewhat within the last oh, about day. Actually, uh, yeah, about day. It's been a, mm. uh, about a day since you hiked up here, but more like uh, last six hours or so. It's coming to here then, I would assume. Who knows? So yeah, she's she's going on that massive rant in front of Leah and Marlon. Well, um, the rant will last for about a couple minutes before uh, you hear that same whistling, and then all of a sudden you and uh, the same whistling you heard before in the beginning of the Eldritch Sanctum, and then you and Marlon end up on the porch. Andy. Well. Uh -huh. I think I'm not getting my my uh I think my uh library card just expired here. Oh my god, there's so much it is oh I thought uh, Marlon was going to the inn. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Jesus Christ The fuck is happening here? Uh, nope, nope. You open nope. a door and it's like the fucking shining <laughs> yeah. but it's jizz. <laughs> yeah, you, I was about to say, yeah, you open the door and it's a pressure hose. <laughs> no, no. I why didn't I have? Off. Why didn't I have my visor closed? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why didn't I have my mouth guard closed? Why was I taking a breath in at that very moment? And then why did hey, I close boy. my visor afterwards? Am, <laughs> am, am I gay now? <laughs> <laughs> the goggles. It does nothing. <laughs> Wait, I have a close helmet. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> nope. You're now you're now officially a spunk lunker. Nope. Everything smells like protein. Nope. Nope. I need to pray the gale. <laughs> I need to pray. Pray the gale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, Bodhi is uh currently like essentially flapping outside like the top spire window looking in. Would there happen Sorry. to be an archmage in there somewhere? I would like to have a word. I actually do need a second because I might be taken off pretty quick and I need to find out. Okay. I did. I wasn't expecting to roll like that, but I'm. I guess we're winging it now. <laughs> uh, no. no. Violence like donkey paddling and come. No, I, I do, I do believe, I do believe he just saw like the cum leaking at the door. Just like that's, that's not the door I want to open. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's like a pipe burst in the bathroom, and you're like, I'm not gonna open this door. I'm gonna call a mechanic, and then I'm gonna pray that I was actually just imagining things and left a tap on. Glad I have gills. <laughs> oh no! Don't breed that shit. That's gotta be heavy. Very heavy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the the compounded virility in there would be a dangerous for someone at least. It's fine. People are using your chest as a flotation device. Help! I need floaties. Squeeze. Mm. 
So he gets back. I see how much work I have to get into to get to the spire where Bodhi is, more or less. Because that. It looks like you got a long walk. You should try getting wings. God. They're pretty dope. Actually, I suppose you have Heelys. That'll speed it along. Heelys. <laughs> the Heelys. Yep. Uh, my next invention will totally be an ornithopter. <laughs> ornithopter. It needs to be like that, that really, like the terrible one where it's like wings that flap the harder you pedal. As opposed to like a spinning thing, like it's actually the flat bike. If it was good, it was good enough right. for Da Vinci, it was good enough for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, I've got like 15, 20 more minutes. So. Oh my god, okay. it is. Um. So, uh, while they're making their way downtown, I guess. Yeah, yeah more like uptown. Downtown. Oh, the so, I don't think so. We'll do uh, a quick cut here where it's just, um, you know, what you would expect. You know, we're, we can look over. Lear lies having fun. Volans just jumped in and done the butter pat. You know, uh, Corlea is also having fun. Oh, having a good time. Thel is still in the market. Don't know what she's doing, but it's still doing. Just shopping. Indulging in her other vices, such as, like, just acquiring fancy foods. Is her fuck okay. senses tingling? No, she already knows, but uh, although she would probably give everyone the time of their life, uh, it wouldn't do anything for her right now. She's still got to come down from uh, two weeks with the, with the fucking goddess of boning. So she's she's literally like in... Um, it, it's like shell shock for fucking. All right. So, um, yeah, the, these guys, these guys are certainly, certainly having a time. Uh, they might need to have that, uh, special wand passed around a couple times. Actually, this would be a good time to get it charged. <laughs> she might go, go like, uh, I don't know, just wave it at the, the fuck pile and, uh, you know what, although at the moment it's not going to do much for her, she'll fucking just join in and fucking break some brains. Bibbity bobbity boff yourself. Yeah. All right. So then, uh, we'll, we'll just count the, you know, given the amount of people that are involved, and the amount of like dryad tentacles and kitsunes, we'll just say that. Ah, yeah. See, there we go. We'll say that uh, your uh, wand charges up. Sweet. And ah, there's sorry guys. There's not much more to say about your little uh, pile over here. Your little soiree. Soiree. So, back to the Timeless Spire. Yep. Maya and Marlum are on their way right now, so it's going to take them a little bit to get all the way across town. Bodhi flew directly there, right? Yep. She is, like, flapping outside the window, uh, looking in and seeing if anyone is there. I mean, there are multiple floors in these windows. Yeah, she'll, she'll check them. It's quicker for her than going through the building. Uh, yeah, you see a, uh, you look in a few of them, and uh, a lot of them seem empty. There do seem to be some people milling about in one or the other, but they don't seem to be, you can tell from the dress, they don't really seem to be people of particular import. You can tell they're mages, but, you know. And uh, you're looking around, and then you find uh, one where you uh, see a woman, you know, this, this entire room is like statuesque, you know, there's uh, gold filigree everywhere, there's uh, artifacts. So ostentatious. Yeah. You know, magical, uh, you know, magical artifacts just lying around, weird spinny globes, Orbimic orb faces there. Ooh. Orbimic orb face. Good old Orbi. You know. Never forget. It it still has like a chipped orc tooth in it. Yep. <laughs> and in the center, in uh, you know, uh, with a woman stands in the center of the room with her uh, hands spread and uh, like rivulets of magic. Just you know, it, it seems to be like water, but it it seems to 
like electricity dances in between little droplets of ever-changing liquid that falls from her fingers and her eyes are closed. She is of unearthly beauty and stature, standing at about uh, six foot five. She's got keel hair and pale skin, long pointed ears, and seems to radiate power. All right then. Uh, let's see here. Bodhi's Bodhi's no fool. Uh, breaking in would be the worst idea. Uh, is there anything along the lines of an open window? Otherwise, she will Bodhi's essentially smart. perch outside and uh, wait for her to finish magicking. The windows aren't uh, open per se, but um, there is like a small balcony. Sure, she will land on the balcony uh, and wait a little bit. We'll see if she, if the this this she lady, comes to realization or not. All right. So a few minutes pass as you're waiting, and uh, you watch as the magic pools around her feet the strange liquid, and then it uh, rises up, taking various mm. shapes and forms. <laughs> before disappearing into the ether, uh, seeming to meld into a mirror, before she turns and looks at you with eyes se that seemed like uh, kaleidoscopes and danced with uh, different colors, and I was on the rule ruler tool right there. Nice. <laughs> yep. And uh, the windows will open. Excellent. Hmm. Uh, Bodhi will like look across the threshold, nod and then walk in. It's been a while since I had an intruder, and such a, it, she'll chuckle, uh, statuesque one at that. Ah, uh, I do like that joke. Bodhi will, will masterfully remain impassive in the face of the same joke. <laughs> she'll, she'll grin at you, uh... You, uh, your kind were just as tired of that when, uh, you were around, but I used it on every single one of you. I have very little doubt. I suppose so, before getting to the crux of my intrusion, I should mention a great many of us have awoken month once more. You will no doubt hear of it soon enough. Ah, that's great. I really liked your kind, other than the incessant teasing I flicked on you. Maybe because of it. Not slowly. Understandable, I suppose. Now, I am the she of this town. Why have you intruded upon my... Mm, less meditations and more relaxation? Uh, she will pull out the scroll. My companion um, received a letter, and likewise she'll recite the contents of it. However, upon arrival, it would seem that none of these things are factually accurate, despite the person being described in this existing. There was something strange about the Dryad trying to remember details. Um, I am concerned that there is more than magic afoot. No less there was tracking placed on this scroll. Tracking which, although should have been deflected by my mother's influence, may well have gotten in. And in the interests of saying better safe than sorry, and also to locate them so that I can ricochet his mighty vengeance on them and essentially grind their bones down into some kind of amorphous form. I was wondering if I could entreat you to essentially counter-scry the ones responsible. And also, I suppose, alert you to the possibility that someone is up to something here in your town. I appreciate the urgency of this task, Paladin, but there are rules in the city. Next time you have something so dire, please go through the proper rights and authorizations to visit me. I am rather busy. Understood. 
All right. Now let's see this strange uh, magics that are afoot with you and your little group. Sure. I handed the scroll. She'll uh, look at it and flip oh. around, and she'll frown when she sees the sigil. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I haven't seen magic like this in <laughs> centuries. This is a mm, perverted, dark, uh, twisted way of uh, method of casting magic. Typically, these runes are used in blood magic rituals and, you know, cannibalistic. The cults that use this kind of spell work, mm -hmm. uh, I thought long deceased. Oh, Fuck. That's the nature of hidden cults. They get better and better each time at hiding themselves. This spell may very well pierce your uh, mother's protections, or perhaps it didn't. After all, she does cast very old magics herself. But this is... runes used by primordial blood mages, necromancers, and the like. And... Well, a race that we purged from these lands a long time ago, though they might have found refuge elsewhere. Though I have not seen a hag in 1200 years. A hag? Uh, they were a race, uh, <laughs> well, less a race. They were a group of spellcasters of uh, human descent that... Uh, found themselves falling deeper and deeper into uh, blood magic rituals and uh, deals with the Fae, and, well, they ran afoul of a particularly powerful sect of my kind back when we had... Uh, back when the courts were not so fractured, when there was one great court for all the seasons. And so it is said that each she uh, came together to curse them for all eternity. I see. Yes. They had managed to uh, gain a great amount of power and, uh, through, you know, eating souls and the like, had achieved near immortality. Uh... Hmm. They had, they tried to unmake the Fey Court, and so we damned them for all eternity, and then they were hunted down. And rightfully so. Would you be willing then to assist in, in locating them? We'll happily go there and to destroy every last one of them. Well, hopefully it's not a hag and simply a member of either a necromantic or blood magic or a fusion of the two cult. Hags themselves are incredibly dangerous. Especially if they're arrayed in covens. Regardless, they're a threat that I have to see destroyed. Absolutely and without mercy. Indeed. There are some... Strange things about enemies thought long dead seem to be returning, though. I'm guessing that you know about that already. Indeed, it's entirely possible that there is a great much that I could avail you of, although in the nearest of futures there will be as like a meeting between dragons, I believe the, the Red Queen, my mother as well, essentially. Great big old... I don't know. I don't actually know what such a gathering would entail, but I suspect that it would... that this is a topic that would come up. Hmm. Well, at the very least, uh, perhaps this is simply uh, another arm of the arch trader that needs to be stamped out. That is the most likely. Well... it is the one I would prefer, especially since if it is a matter of the arch trader and it is far more within my purveyance to destroy. I don't have much in the way of witch covens, however, you know, the frankly abominable practice of blood sorcery and dark magic. It's rather reasonable grounds for me to try to destroy them irrequivably. Oh, we have plenty of witches here. 
These are hags, uh, race of cursed witches, which are dead. Right, I see, yes. Though, as I've said, it seems that this new age of technology is resurrecting things that were long thought lost. Either way, I will endeavor to... Uh, once uh, the spell has been um, dispelled, it's very hard to track it back to its uh, caster. But from what you say, this uh, person may have had contact with someone else in the city. And if they are under an source element, then I should be able to do what I can. Very well, then. Um, might there be a way we can assist you with this? Otherwise, I will likely pick a nice balcony to perch on until the time comes. Mm, no. Uh, for now, I have I have my own things I wish to do and a ways of going about it, but I will let you know if, if and when I find anything so that you may go and do some of that oh-so-famous Shay and Vengifying. That is one of the ways we do prefer to describe our Vengification, yes. Uh, yes, I've seen entire worlds purge clean when a Shea gets angry. She's very angry about this person as well, so... She'll just nod. I would imagine. <laughs> nod very firmly. I would imagine her first mortal traitor coming back. Indeed. Did you ever meet In the arch traitor? Uh, millennia ago in passing. Uh, at the time I was... Mm, incredibly young. I spent most of my time uh, dancing between the spheres and not really paying attention to what happened in the material realm. She seems a little bit disappointed, but nods. Very well. In which case, how might there be a way I can repay your services? I understand that uh, it wouldn't do well to end up in your debt. This is true, but... If it finds out that you have alerted me to a threat to my city, then uh, the debt will be paid in full. Understood. And if not, I'm sure there are some uh, errands you could run for me. The, you know, some uh, creatures in the wilderness that need smiting. Very well, yes, uh, and also, if it please you, uh, a companion of mine just got back from a two-week stint with the goddess of sex, so I'm sure that she might be also ample um, entertainment. Uh, uh, Lay will just start laughing. Ah, oh, so you met it sooner. Yes, uh, I like her. She gave my friend temporary breasts. <laughs> I laughed. It was a good time. Yes, well, depending on uh, how she is, that might have been a boon or a trick on her part. She tends to do that. Indeed. Um, I will find you if I need you. Uh, please close the windows on your way out. Yep, she'll nod politely. Do so, and probably flap down to the bottom to catch Meyer and Marla before they go up shit tons of stairs. Yeah, well, it's going to take, like, another, you know, half an hour for Maya and Marlon to get there. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, so I will save them that journey. There is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of city to get all the way back here. Yeah, yeah. The whole 85 feet of it. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Don't make me put this into miles. Hmm. I'll do it, you watch me. I'm sure you will. I don't need to test you on that. So yes, I will. <laughs> Batman, time skip. Explain shit to Maya and Marlon, and then... Oh. Yeah. Either of you know anything about hacks, perhaps? History checks! Alright, alright, I got that. Mm -hmm. I don't anymore. Uh, <laughs> very, very... Roll to a very, very difficult history checks. You have advantage. 
Well, well. And, uh, oh, you passed DC 25. Look at you. <laughs> okay. These are only scraps that you know because, uh, as you guys recall, uh, all of the ages before the Age of Accord were lost. All the uh, records of history were lost during the Great War. So, uh, literally, the only people who can tell you about it were people that were old enough to have been there. And it said that once long ago in ancient history, a group of very powerful witches who had achieved immortality came together and tried to uh, overthrow the rightful, uh, to overthrow all the rulership of the planet and uh, claim it for themselves. And a great war was fought. And that's about all you know. Dick move, Hags, Dick they, move. That the enemies were known as hags, and apparently they were an all-female group of incredibly powerful witches from many races. And then, I sense motive on Maya. Hmm. I mean, unless Marlum... Unless a 27 from Marlum is enough for him to, like, know stuff about change things oh that's yeah no bad. there's there's no way it's, okay, it's just that. i suppose how does maya take this knowledge that her, the, the hunt for her mother is sort of rooted itself in the history of blood covens and shit how's she coping how's she dealing with it i don't fucking know i'm bad at it's like she's immortal she's got one of those mortal facial expressions they change like every few seconds jesus how do you keep up with it would that be knowledge arcana to see if i can figure out something about changing themselves you don't know changelings exist. Uh, yeah. Us as players do, but, you know. Sith, that order has been extinct for a millennia. Yep. <laughs> Xenos, never heard of them. We purged all of them. So, preemptively, it's been a whole lot of fun playing Maya. I'm now going to be opening suggestions on what I should play after she gets killed during her uh, fight during the conclusion of her personal quest. Be girl hunter. <laughs> I say some kind of hunter because I just think hunters are some of the coolest shit in Pathfinder. You get a big pet doggo and you shoot real good. Why not a brawler? Because yeah. they're bad. Get a Great big boofer dog. Yeah. Wait, wait. Why not the why? What is it? The shield champion brawler archetype? Nah, fuck that. Because brawlers are stupid and boring. No, okay, don't play Captain America. Yeah, They're... exactly. Fuck that noise. That guy's a racist jack. <laughs> He's a ninety-year-old man in a handsome thirty-year-old dude's body. That's that's a recipe for disaster. Or a rage chemist. A what? Please, please don't. No, no, no. Oh, what? Were you Jacqueline Hyde at? No, a rage chemist is literally don't, the Hulk. Oh. Don't, don't actually give me suggestions right now. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just I'm, gonna I'm, fill I'm, your fill your brain with a fucking mess by throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. No, I'm being I'm being facetious. Clearly. Being fishy, more like. I suppose out of curiosity, what would you do then for a character if Maya hagged out? I mean, if Maya hags out and um, you know, doesn't bring a significant chunk of the party onto her side through you know, being actually kind of nice, um, I don't know. <laughs> it, I, mean, I have a suspicion that Scout, um, either one of us is gonna have to uh, go to a new character. That sounds. It's that does sound likely fine. if you actually hag out, yeah. I gave you the ability to avoid your fate even if you didn't realize it at the time. I even tried uh, to nudge you in the direction of trying to figure it out right over your head. It's fine. It'll 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 come to fruition later. What a terrible night to have a curse. Congratulations if you know what fucking game that's from. Well, time is uh, It's a terrible game. 
but it's a very memorable Where's line. Terrible knife for curse. Uh, some reference to Binding of Isaac. No. The, that, it. the, it's a Simon's Quest. Indeed, that Binding of Isaac thing is a reference to Simon's Quest as well. Uh, okay. Castlevania 2. Yeah. It's the Castlevania that didn't exist, and no one should ever try and find it. Okay. Huh. Alright then. I was going to say, I'd jump into something else, but don't you have to, like, peace out in a soon? I actually do, and uh, now that I think about it, it's just, if we get into the next bit, it's going to be, like, investigation in D. Okay. Mm. So, um, uh, since we did all that for you guys, let's uh, zoom over to the inn and see if these guys oh want to do anything other than what they're doing right now. I don't know, does someone have a ye old Red Bull that I can drink? Can I see it? Well, I mean, I want to see if I can, I, I want to see if I can just, okay, you know, I don't want to say it on stream. Oh, well, I feel okay. weird, I feel weird actually saying that out loud. No, you should totally say it out do loud, you, what's do up? You want to, do you I want, want to see if Lyrilai can deep throat Corlia. Hmm. The oh, whole man. thing. <laughs> the whole of all of it. Cool. I mean, the you don't have a, you don't have bones, and you don't need to I breathe no through bones. your mouth. Wait. If you have no bones, I can give you a bonus on your fortitude. A bonus. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you're, if, you're if you're taking Corleo down, down one end, can I get the other? Sure. <laughs> Friend, good, oh, friends, okay. good friends share. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you're going to have to make like a wiggle check to actually be able to get past all of the floofs and all of like the fairies and all of the dryads around. Good, me? Yeah, you came in late to this party, son. All right, uh, what would you define as a wiggle check? Dexterity based check. If you right. crit fail, you slept in a pool of semen and break your nose. All right, sure, you can you can make it. Lirali, if you would like to see if you can, uh, go ahead and make a fortitude check, and because you have no bones, I'll give you uh, plus four. No bones. Okay. So how, how exactly do I turn does not work on her? How exactly do I use this remote to uh, get that thing? Get that thing for her fuckboy. The what, sorry? Okay. So I gotta uh, take off in five, so go ahead and make that check and we'll see how well it goes. I got no bones <laughs> to hold me up. 19? Yeah. 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 I was yeah, half you, tempted you can, to see. You can uh, totally do that. That was, in fact, a DC 17. For all the inches? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, that's funny. At, at least I, I thought that's how big it was. Right? Anyways. Yeah, how yeah, how big is the Schwingus? Because that's the DC. Pretty sure it was 19. Oh, oh it okay. just well, makes it. Meets beats right. off, more like. Yep. Alright, so, mm. um... Lear Lie manages by virtue of no bones. Uh, we'll actually catch up on what happens at the end uh, next week because uh, there is uh, no, mo no more 40k for this, you know, until my hours at work change. Yeah. And I've got to take off because I've got to go buy boots for work tomorrow. All right. Boots. Have fun yeah, shoe cool. shopping. Yeah. Yep. Uh, thank you, everybody, for playing. Is there anything anyone would like to bring up before we draw the session? Do a close. Uh, experience. Uh, we don't do that. Oh, yeah. Then I don't have shoot. <laughs> yeah, you just hit level seven. Yay. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you for jamming us. Uh, yeah. Slightly sad, but, uh, you know, uh, I have only just discovered that my character's race is apparently um, the super Nazis. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyway. I could you... <laughs> listen, 
There is a reason why a lot of things thought dead are coming back now, and you'll find out about it, and it'll be great. And also, you have a fairly good chance of surviving your mo uh, meeting your mom. It's fine. I gave you a... I have a fairly good chance, so long as I don't just choose to go onto her side, which you know, most changelings do when they meet their mothers. Yeah, but that's also because of mental influence, which is somehow mysteriously you're being shielded from. Who do? How would this happen? When will they <laughs> figure it out? Like Find out next time. Yay, it makes Find sense. out next time. All right. Yay. If your will save isn't very good, I could just body be your body your bodyguard. So, um yeah. So that's it for me. All right, and if you're watching in the VOD or you're watching in the stream, I hope you have yourselves a my fucking good time and do take care. Like and subscribe. Ciao, stream. Bye, stream. All right, guys.